This will be an example of programming a taper on your Miltronics lathe with the 9000 control. So for this example we're going to use a 2 inch diameter stock and we're going to use polar coordinates so from the face of the part moving in a Z positive direction be 0 moving along the face would be 90 moving Z negative would be 180 for our polar coordinates so let's just remember that when we start making our program so I have a program started on the first event I have the solid model stock size defined the next event is a tool change we're going to be using tool number two it's a 55 degree turning tool 20 thou per rev and constant surface speed and now we're going to put in our turning cycle so select F6 insert F2 turn F1 start this is going to be a rough turning setup so X and Z finish stock if you would want to come back with the finishing tool after you get done roughing it you could enter the amount here but we're just going to put zeros in there so our roughing tool will cut it right to size X and Z rough stock that's the amount the roughing tool is going to take in its final pass we'll say 25 thousandths on X 15 on Z first X depth our material is 2 inches so our first X depth will be at 1.95 and the cut increment that'll be 125 thousandths per pass clearance will be 0.1 compensation this example will be from a rear mounted turret so we'll use right for our cutter comp start point this is where your turning cycle starts from so 2.5 for X and Z a 0.1 pattern number this number will be associated with all the geometry following this event so it's going to be pattern number one select F1 store now let's give it our lines of geometry so F2 line and we're going to go to a diameter of one inch and Z of 0.1 select F1 store now F2 line we'll go to Z0 F1 store so now we went to a diameter of 1 and we're right at the face of the part. So we'll select F2 line and now where it says coordinates toggle that to polar. And then your type we're going to want to choose angle to X because we're going to know what angle we want to cut and we're going to know at the X diameter we want to end at. We don't know Z but the control will calculate it for us. If you would know the angle and know your Z position you would choose this but for this example we're going to choose angle to X our X axis diameter that we're going to end at is going to be 1.875 in our angle I said 90 was moving about the face and 180 was moving in negative Z so let's say 90 plus 60 to give us a 150 degree angle F1 store, F6 end, store the end turning cycle, and now we can preview it. So there's our, our different lines, and you can see, if we zoom in, you can see that shoulder where it ended at 1.875. We didn't have to tell it the Z, it just figured out what the Z location was based on the angle in our X endpoint. Now if we have a, a different angle, let's cut an angle so we end at a larger negative number for Z. Let's watch how the control calculates it. So let's go to angle, F1 edit, and let's put this to 170. So this would be 180 minus a 10 degree line. Gives you 170 F11 preview. So now you can see you still have your 1.875 diameter where it ended and your one inch diameter where you started and it cut the angle in between the two points. So I hope you found this as a helpful video and thank you for watching.